Hi there! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your own Live Scores football website using WordPress and API data. You can check out a real life example here, footballan.com. First of all, we need good hosting for our site. I recommend Cloudways or Run Cloud with the cloud server you want. Cloudways hosting is really cool and has many great features. For our project, you can use DigitalOcean or Vulture servers with 1 core with 2 GB RAM or 2 core with 4 GB RAM. Run Cloud is cheaper and supports more server providers, but you may have some difficulty in setting it up, and it is not recommended for beginners. The main difference is that Run Cloud is not a host. It is just a control panel. You need to buy a VPS separately and then connect it to Run Cloud. You can choose from DigitalOcean, Vulture, UpCloud, or other supported providers. Cloudways and RunCloud have great tutorials that teach users how to install WordPress. So we will not discuss this process here. Football Leagues works with the most themes out of the box. There are many free WordPress themes, and Cadence, GeneratePress, and Block C are my favorites. In our tutorial, we will stay on GeneratePress. Then we should install the required WordPress plugins, and VP Football Leagues, free core plugin, and VP Football Leagues Premium, unique add-on. Don't forget to set the website's time zone before importing data from the API. Go to Settings, General and select your time zone from the drop-down list. To get an import data API key, go to appy-football.com. Sign up, and buy a subscription. You can start with the pro plan. I recommend you use a direct subscription. It has some advantages and a user-friendly dashboard. Copy and paste your API key into the plugin settings page, and check the other import options. After that, visit the statistics page and sync your data structure with an API. Now we are ready to work on importing data. Go to Import API Dashboard. From that page we can run all current daily and weekly tasks. We can see the warning message that our plugin has no import configuration. Let's create it. Go to All API Leagues and select a tournament you want to import. Some of them have automatic import wizard. See the A letter in the upper right corner. In that case, open wizard and run it. Wait some time and close the wizard when finished. Now our competition is ready. Let's take a look at it. Go to competitions and open the created tournament. You can see the default competition layout. In the next part, I'll show you how to improve the default plugin pages with the help of the layout builder.
Now it's time to create the home page with a cool shortcode, Calendar Slider. In this part, I'll show you how to insert plugin shortcodes in two different ways into the Gutenberg editor. Create a new page and add the classic block. Then click on the ball icon and select the calendar slider shortcode from the drop down list. Check all shortcode arguments and click on the Insert Shortcode button. Let's add a shortcode to this page in another way. Go to the Plugin Shortcode Builder, select Calendar Slider, check all arguments, and copy the generated code. Then add the shortcode block to the Gutenberg page and paste the code into it. Now you can remove the classic block. We don't need it anymore. In the last step, we will update our site's homepage settings. Go to Settings, Reading. Set our homepage and save. Go to our site's main URL and check the calendar slider output. Now I'll show you how to set up API Live Import. First of all, we need to enable the Live Score plugin functionality. Go to Settings and Tools, Florida Plus Configurator, Live and activate the Enable Live Scores option. You can also check other live settings. The plugin allows you to add live data in two ways, manually or automatically with the help of API import. After activating that option, we can add data in manual mode. Let's turn on live data import from our API provider. Go to Settings and Tools, Florida Plus Configurator, Import API, and activate the Import Live Data from API option. By the way, you can turn on Predictions Import here too. Finally, we should schedule the API Live Import and the Predictions Import. Go to the Dashboard and select the appropriate leagues. Then click on the Schedule button. The status will be changed to Active. Let's check how it works. Switch to our home page and reload it. Looks good. Click on the active game and check it. The plugin supports live hot updates in several blocks. Game header, timeline, and game comments, and it has a unique layout for live games. If you would like, you can create it. The Football League's plugin is very powerful and has tons of useful and unique features. I recommend visiting the plugin overview page to find out more. The tournament is the basis of the Football League's plugin. You can create any competition type, round robin, knockout, or multi stage with different stages. A tournament bracket is a table of games in a knockout tournament stage. Such a structure is used most of all in national cups and international competitions. The plugin can create an automatic bracket layout or manually put games in blocks of your choice. The game scoreboard with an image background and a list of goal scorers is a superb block to display the progress and result of a football game. The plugin allows you to create and show every formation type. You can use the drag and drop system to quickly put players to the appropriate positions on the field mockup. Game Commentary Block is a list of game events that have occurred in a game with time, icons, and detailed event information. The plugin also has blocks such as Team Roster, Team Statistics, Club Trophies, Player, Referee and Staff Pages and Statistics, Standing Table with Automatic Calculation, Conference Support, 
manual data entering into standing table, layout builder, calendar slider, dynamic CO options, about 40 shortcodes, charts, automatic users time zone and much much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.